Alright, so what is going on you guys? It's Blazinger Kicks here. And before I hear all the hat comments and all that crap, just know, if you want to see my hair right now, it needs to be cut, so don't even, don't even, nope, nope, we're not going through that. Alright, you know I decided to ditch the hat, whatever, whatever, whatever. Alright, it's good. Anyway, so there's gonna be a lot of stuff you need for this video. And it is kind of an expensive hobby, so you are going to make sure you have a little bit of dough to back yourself up. And if not, there are a couple cheap alternatives that I will be touching base on, so yeah. Alright, so before that you need to start a sneaker YouTube channel, you need to have a couple things first. You gotta have a great personality, you have to be very outgoing, you have to be social, and you have to just connect with others. Now, if you even have like three out of the four things, you're already good. If you have two, maybe you might need to work on that a little bit. It, like practice talking to yourself in front of a mirror. It may sound stupid, but a lot of people are very camera shy. The next thing you're going to need a good thing you're going to gear your channel towards. So for example, I mean, I'm not even going to lie. My channel is pretty much like if Retro Snickers and Sneakerhead in the Bay had a son, they'd be a little gay. But that'd be me. All right, so I'm gonna do restorations and you know things other than restorations. So just a lot of awesome, cool little stuff like that. So if you want to have a camp channel geared towards unboxings and go for it, if you want to have a channel towards whatever you really want with sneakers, it could be like mine. I don't even care, man. It's just gonna be. I know it's gonna be pretty cool. So you guys should just do whatever makes you happy. And after that, you're finally going to need the actual materials to make the channel. So I guess the biggest one really would be a phone. So the cheapest option would be to have a phone. Now when I first started my videos, don't even talk to me about that. I wish I could delete them, but they pretty much started my channel for me. I recorded on my phone, all right? And no, I didn't edit with my phone. I just had a phone to record with. An iPhone works good. Samsung, any of the newer cameras works great. You can also get some kind of vlogging camera, like some kind of camera that the vloggers use for like 250 Or if you want to just go full out like me, buy like an $800 T5i. No, I didn't pay that. I went on eBay and got it for 500 So you can do, there's a bunch of different alternatives to having a camera. For me, I personally just went all out. I just bought myself a Canon T3i upgraded to the T5i, and that's what I'm doing right now. Now, the rest of this video, you are going to need to be on the computer for. And I get this question all the time. How, what app do you use to edit your videos? I don't use an app. You should never use an app to edit your videos. The quality will be poo-poo and caca. You cannot do that at all, because then it'll just kind of look cheesy and like, won't be cut very well. So we're going to actually make a test video and upload it to a test channel, and this is what I'm going to just do. So I'm going to take my time and make this video right. All right, so you guys are going to see this at the end of the video, but I actually just recorded a video that's going to be unlisted. So this whole channel is going to be non-existent unless you totally watch to the end to find out how this whole test channel really works. Now let's just hop over to the computer because that is where everything else is going to be happening. And for you guys wondering, I have an Intel Core i5 Dell and yeah, so let's just head over to the computer. All right, you guys, so now that we're on our desktop, this is just a little software I used to record because I did have a gaming thing. So this is what you're gonna be faced with. So what do I do now, Blazing Dairy? I just recorded my video. I'm very happy with it. I uploaded all the files to my computer. As you can tell right now, I'm just transferring what I just did right now. It's gonna take me a little while to get it done, but because I uploaded a lot of stuff. This is also for my vacation as well. So now that we have these files uploading, what do I do now? Well, first, let's head out of here and let's get out of Blazing Dairy Kicks. So we're gonna sign out right here. Let's go ahead and sign in. I'm gonna block all this info so you guys, I don't really want you seeing this. And we're gonna create a new Google account. All right, so here we go. This is gonna be really awesome. All right, so my new name for this is Jim Jop, and my, I'm gonna be Jim Joppy at gmail.com. Sweet, my password, there's my password. And for my birthday, this is gonna seem a little like, uh, Blazendary, this is a little sketch, man. This is gonna be a little sketch, Blazendary. Like, what's going on here? Whatever. This is just a test account, but I would make yourself an age over 18 so you can watch all videos. Like, I know that might be stupid, but yeah. So we're gonna be male. And I'm not gonna put in my number because I can't, I don't really want to. And we're gonna type in this Capacha thing right here. I agree. And bam. Now, right here, I just put in my number and we're gonna verify this account right here so this can be secure. Make sure your password, I know everyone tells you this, is very complex because you don't know who can hack your account. All right, so there we go. Jimjoppy at gmail.com. So let's go back. All right, so now that we're in YouTube, this is what we're facing. So we're gonna wanna go over to our good fun our good friend Blazendary and we're gonna subscribe. And I think Blazendary is a pretty cool guy. Like, look at him, man. See, this channel, this this guy knows what he is doing. Yeah. Okay. Yep, there we go. Perfect. Wow, what a stud. 
Anyway, here we are, jimjoppy at gmail.com. So we're gonna go to our creator studio. And now you must create a channel, upload videos. All right, so let's create a channel. Let's go ahead. So here we go. We're gonna wanna edit. We're not Jim Joppy. This is not us. So we're gonna name our new channel. So my name for this is Sneaker Freaker 9000 Unboxer Champ. That's what I named myself. And this is going to be entertainment. And we agree to the pages turn. Here we go. Sneaker Freaker 9000 Unboxer Champ now has its own YouTube channel. So look at this, you guys. We got everything going. So look at this. Sneaker Freaker 9000 Unboxer Champ. And now let's go over to... Now let's go over here. And this is going to be very, very simple. Paint.net. Oh, no. On Google, we're going to type in paint.net. Right here. And this is what we're going to get. Paint.net. You're going to download it, you're going to install it for whatever software you're on, and this is what you're going to get. Okay, so look, so here's what you're greeted. You're with this nice thing, and we're going to hit Control A, and we're going to delete all that. So now it's good. And now we are going to need a profile picture. So if you're not comfortable with using your actual face for it, like if you don't feel like you're up for that, yeah, that's all good. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to make your own profile picture. So I'm just going to use the little fade effect right here, pick two colors, and then we're going to go to text and open a new one. And you guys can figure this out. It's very easy. But you can install so many different fonts right here. This website, defont.com. Make sure that you're allowed to use it for like free for personal use. So this is personal, right? You, so we're going to make this. We're going to change the color right here to red. We just made our new profile picture. And bam, there we go. So that is our new profile picture. Let's actually add right here. We're going to make a new layer and post it right here. We're going to keep this canvas size. Now, I don't know, I'm very picky about this, like I hate how they make you do this, but you're gonna wanna expand the canvas size and you're just gonna make this picture super small if it's ginormous. I don't know why they just give you an option to just make it the way you want. Okay, so there we go. Now we have our picture right there. Blazonary Kicks by sticker www.blazonarykicks.com. So there we go. I'm comfortable with how this looks. I think it looks just absolutely dandy. What we're gonna do is we're gonna actually put we're gonna move this layer up. This is not being covered. Oh, there we go. Okay, did not mean to do that. And now we're gonna go back to the text. We're gonna select it all. We're gonna go effects. And you're gonna wanna install Drop Shadow. Just type in Drop Shadow on Google. You can tell right there, Vander Motten Paint.net effects. Just download that. It's gonna it's gonna give you this nice effect on how you can shade your background like this. So bam. There we go. Sneaker Freaker Unboxer 9000 Champ. We just made ourselves a profile. And we're gonna save it as a JPEG, flatten the image, and bam, there we go. So now what we're going to want to do is close out of these tabs and we're going to edit our profile. So we're going to edit it. We're going to go to Google Plus. We're going to pick the new thing we just did. So Sneaker Freaker 9000 Unboxer. And this is just for test purposes, so it's not going to be perfect. So I'm just going to cut it off right there. Perfect. Now, obviously, you guys are going to make sure you're, this is very good. But since this is a tester account, I could care less on how it looks. So there we go. Yay. We just made our new profile. Page. And so it's going to take a little while for it to come up right here. But it will be there if you did it on Google+. Plus. And now let's go over to add channel art. And we don't have any. So we're going to make an image 2560 by 1440. So we're going to go back into here. We're going to make a new one. And we're just going to do exactly that. And we're just going to plug that in right there. And as you can tell, it just made that. So we're going to zoom out a bit. And then we're just going to get rid of this control A delete. And we're going to fade this since I don't care once again. This is just a test. And we're going to do this again. Let's just use the font. Here we go. Yeah. There we go. Instagram. There we go. You can pretty much, pretty much do whatever you want with this. This is all up to you. I can't decide this for you. I'm just giving you examples of what you can do. Once again, we're running a file. Save as. Save it as a JPEG. And just... Yeah, and save it. We're gonna go back and select the photo right here. We're gonna select the one we just did. And then we wanna make sure we can adjust the crop to how we like it. So, so once again, this is a tester account. I could care less on how it looks. Obviously you can get very detailed, but there we go. Now we have our own thing. It's coming along nice. Okay, now here comes the biggest question I get. What video editor do you use? Now there's tons of video editors out there. If I had to pick one editor, it'd easily be Sony Vegas Pro 13. This is by far, in my opinion, the greatest video editor out there. If you're on Mac, iMovie, that's your thing. Great, great, I could care. Sony Vegas Pro 13 is where it's at. Now I'm just gonna be completely open and honest with you guys. Oh, here's actually a project I was working on. There are so many ways to get this program for free. I'm not even gonna lie, it's like $130, but there's just always a way to get it for free. So do a little bit of research on your own. 
I don't really want to get in trouble for showing you guys how I get it for free, but there's always a way, you guys. It's so easy. So this is Sony Vegas Pro 13. This is, in my opinion, the go-to editor. So what you're going to want to do is you're first greeted by this. It's actually extremely simple. It didn't take me long to learn any of this at all. So what you're going to do right here is you're going to open it up. You're going to insert a video track. Now this is by far the easiest thing you can do to start off. So you're going to enter at John Carlo Perch because that is, you know, my name. And this is just how to create a sneaker channel. And I usually do this. I make it by 12. I make the test color to down there. I go to outline. I put that all the way back. Bam, 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 done. There we go. And then I move it over to right here. And then I just do this. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And then I just pretty much extend it out so I don't forget to extend it out later. So that should be good. So now when you start the video, it's going to fade in there and it's going to show at John Carlo. The next thing you want to do is open a video track and an audio. Bring this back up here so it's on the first layer. It's kind of like layers. So we're going to take the video that we just edited and it's going to be right here. So as you can tell, I'm just kind of getting into character. And yeah, so that's how and we're going to drag this back just a little bit. And here's what we're going to do. When you first open, you're going to want to like normally your video wouldn't be this long. I had to do a couple different acts to make sure it's the one I wanted so here's the video right here's what you got you got this right here this is nice and perfect as you notice there are audio wavelines you're gonna want to cut right here you just want to click uh, s for split and then right click and delete or there's actually a button if you just right click you can see all these options are split for you you want to drag that right there and you want to use your mouse to zoom in kind of like this and you're gonna want to fade this as well so here we go all right, guys, this is Sneaker Freaker 9000 Unboxer Master Champ coming. Bang, there we go. So that is the video. It plays very nice, and I just hit the space bar to go back. And as you notice, like, there are these little choppy parts right here. So you're just going to do the split thing, delete, and make it so it's nice. Now, the next thing is, what music should I do? Well, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I use this thing called No Copyright Sounds right here. Now, No Copyright Sounds is a great video. I have some great songs. I actually use this one, the in Invincible one, because it is my favorite one that they put out so far. So you're gonna click on it. Now there's usually a way to get it, like a download link, free download. So I already downloaded it. Just go ahead and download it. And then you're gonna wanna open a new audio track and you're gonna wanna make the decibels, which is how loud it is, probably do about like 20, because this is kind of a loud track. And you wanna, it's kind of a loud track. So you wanna go into instrumentals and Dev, there we go, so bang. This is free, so it won't get copyrighted by YouTube. You don't wanna fade this in, and this is what we have so far. All right, guys, this is Sneaker Freaker 9000 Unboxer Master Champ coming back at you with another video. And today in this video, I wanted to go over this pair of videos. Jordan 13. And now I'm just gonna proceed to edit the video like normal. So yeah, here we go. Alright, so I just edited the video, and it, I think it, it for I edited in like 15 seconds, because I'm, I'm pretty fast at it now. But if you guys are wondering how to get an intro, just type in free intros, and then you're going to want two programs, Cinema 4D and After Effects. These are both paid programs. Once again, you can always find a way to get them for free. And that's how I made my Blazonary Kicks. I did not make it originally. It was actually a template. But you can also tell that I have these funny little effects right here. Now, this is all just pure you. Like, I can't tell you what effects to do. But all you have to do is, if you make this big enough, and you go to right here, this little button, Event Effects, going to be able to add some different effects. So I'm just going to take this little clip right here and just give you an example. So we're going to go right here, and then we're going to make it black and white. All right, so there we go. You just click OK. How much blend of black and white you want. Just 100% works, and you want to put that back. So as you can tell. And I want you guys to find out how you guys... Yeah, let's, let's get in. Right, see, oh, see? There's a bunch of I added that little effect right there, and I did that as well. So that's pretty, you just gotta play with it, and this is pan and crop. I'm not gonna really be getting into this too much, because it's all, once again, preference. But it should, pretty much just makes the video, like, in a certain, like, area. So, like, if you do something funny and you want to look at your face, then go ahead and do that. And you want to right-click, properties, disable, resample, maintain aspect ratio, uncheck that, click OK, and then it'll look but like yeah. this. So I'm gonna be doing a restoration video on this, and I want you guys to... So, as you can tell, there's just a whole bunch of different things. 
you're gonna want to click render at and you're gonna want to save it as an internet hd 720p video you're gonna get a whole bunch of them like so look see so you, so you just gotta scroll down to main concept avc such aac mp4 whatever i want to click internet hd 720 i don't feel the need that i need to do my videos in 1080p although i can it's just 720 is very short and you're gonna want to just backspace this whole thing and type it in Sneaker Freaker 9000 Unboxer Master Champ. And you want to do that. And you're just going to wait for this to render. It might take a little while if you have a slow computer. And I'll get back at you guys when I'm done. Alright, so I really hope you guys found this video useful. And if you did, please hit the thumbs up button. Smash it, destroy it. It would mean the world to me if you guys hit the thumbs up button. I just love seeing the reactions that I get on my videos. I mean, like, if we could get to 500 likes on this video, that'd be just insane because this video took a massive amount of editing. I haven't even started editing yet, and I know it's going to take forever. Please follow me on Instagram, at John Carlo Perch. I'm so close to 5,000 followers. And on there, I just post pictures of awesome stuff, behind-the-scenes things that don't really go on YouTube. And yeah, just a bunch of awesome stuff. And in the comment section below, comment your YouTube channel. Like, comment on the YouTube channel, and I'll accept everyone. Like, I won't mark it as spam. But don't do it on any other video. Just announce your channel and stuff like that down here on this video. And just introduce yourself, and hopefully, ever, like, I can get, like, a subscriber follow train, I guess, if you kind of get what I'm saying. So just subscribe to everyone who comments, and I'm sure you guys can make friends and make little clans. Like, I know I have a little clan with Jose and all that. I mean, I think it's kind of cool. So if you guys want to do that, please feel free to comment down below and make sure you guys check out that channel the tester video and the channel I made link is in the description it is a private channel and video so nobody's gonna see it other than you guys that watched it and waited to the end of this video because you're a hardcore blazing dairy thin and I appreciate that thank you guys for watching blazing dairy kicks signing out peace